And welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. Today's special episode, I'm bringing to you somebody that, you know, I've connected with and, you know, he's been doing something that I have found incredibly inspiring. And today is a special day, but I'm going to let him, I don't want to, you know, take his thunder. I'm going to let him share with you what today <laughs> means too. But I want to introduce everyone to Kevin Goodnight. Guys, y'all give it up for Kevin. Awesome. Awesome. That's your fan club out there, man. They're clapping yeah. for you. It's pretty, it's pretty exciting, man. Absolutely. Well, Kevin, I know today's a special day, but I want to give there, give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do and what is special about today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you, Gary. And, and so rich to be, uh, be here with you. I'm, I, you know, just over the last few months between text messages and phone calls, man, you've been a, an inspiration to me and, and kind of helped me in my journey as I'm, I'm going blind into a lot of these new <laughs> <laughs> avenues here. And as I like to say on a whim and a prayer and, and, and here, and here we go. But, um, a little bit about me. I live in, in Houston, Texas. I am currently, uh, the general manager of ready carpet and we service the multifamily industry in, uh, for flooring. And so predominantly apartments, multifamily, that's kind of where our, some of our ties come together. I've uh, been married 16 years to my beautiful bride, Keely, and she is uh, my rock and my inspiration. And uh, and for those who, who know me well, she uh, she keeps me <laughs> keeps me in line. It's, and uh, and then uh, we have two boys. Uh, Keaton is our oldest. He is 12. And then Court is in 10 is 10. And man, we're just full throttle sports we've got acting we've got uh and then one of them is just if, if it has a ball and a glove it's it's we're going after it so year-round swim and so our kids are they keep us fully fully uh busy and and so that's kind of a, a quick of, of who i am we uh been doing my career been in, in a management leadership capacity for and, and in flooring for over 20 years so wow. lots of roles I, I can say with on the work side i've been in Pretty much all five facets of, of flooring from uh, builder, retail, multifamily, industrial flooring, and, uh, and and commercial flooring. So I've seen all, and, and multifamily is is by far the most stable, and and, it, and it's a good it's a good place to, to be. And so that's what I call my my that's my eight to five that yeah. that I do. And then uh, I was called to write, and uh, which is which is crazy. And and the the cool the cool thing is. Today is I'm launching my first book as as we speak. With uh, five eleven, uh, we were launching the book, and, and the title is uh, Dad Voted, and it's dads devoted to discovering their duty, direction, and destiny. So, been a cool journey. You, you may want to ask more questions about that journey, but the journey to write it's it's been a calling, and uh, for me, what started out as a dream two and a half years ago when the world was ending. Um, and my, I, I told my wife, I said, uh, I've got this calling to write. And then we go to a wedding six months later and a lady I don't know comes to me at the wedding and very beautiful person, a Nigerian lady. And she says, you are going to write a book one day. And uh, <laughs> I, I get chills just, you know, telling the yeah. story because my wife and I look at each other and we go, uh, I, if, you know, regardless of where you are in, in faith, that was a divine appointment and the nudge that I needed to, to push me. Uh, over the limit, uh, over the edge to, to launch this. So I am a published author as of today, my friend. And congratulations, thank congratulations. You. That's thank so you. that's so incredible. And, and I'm, I wanted to have you on today just because we know today was your launch day. So I wanted to celebrate that and share it with, with people, your book. We're also gonna put the link to Amazon to get your book. So I'm encouraging all dads and anyone that knows a dad to grab a copy of this book. Um, I've been able to to read some of the, the quotes from it, and it is absolutely incredible. So make sure you guys grab a copy of that. But we'll add that to uh, the show notes um, so yeah. you can click on that and grab a copy. But, you know, Kevin, I want to connect with you because you are truly been in the multifamily industry, you've been, you know, leadership position for over 20 plus years. So I love to connect with these incredible leaders and peek behind the curtain and say, OK, what inspires you, you right. know? a leader, a family man, um, an author now, you know, all these things that you're doing. So what inspires you? So I reached out to you and I said, you know, hey, what inspires you, Kevin? You came back with three incredible points. I don't want to talk about those with you today. First one you shared was seeing people thrive in their God-given purpose. So yeah. what does that mean to you? And how does that inspire you? 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's, and there's kind of a twofold answer to this. I mean, we all have purpose and and I, I can, on the faith-based side, we have two purposes, really, if, if for those who are believers, followers, uh, hopefully you become an intimate and then you become an ambassador of, of, of following uh, Jesus. But for those faith-based, you have a primary purpose and that is to love God and love others. That's, a, that's everybody's primary purpose. But from there, your secondary purpose is, okay, what are you going to do with the skills, talents, and abilities that you've been given to live out your, your, your purpose? And that's where, you, you know, you fine tune it. And the coolest part about that is for those who know it and everybody has, you know, it's, there's a, there's charts and there's ways. And, and for me, it was, I kind of stumbled into my, my purpose and, uh, cause I'm, I'm, I guess I'm hardheaded as, as well, but who do you want to focus on? And for me, it's dads. And and, that, and then from dads, it's okay. How do I get a message out to dads? Okay, this is this is a good place to start. Conversations with like-minded guys like you. And, and then where does that that lead? But the, the coolest thing about uh, living in your purpose is it eliminates all fear and mm-hmm. all uncertainty. Um, you you may still there's there's that doesn't mean life's easy. Life's golden. Life's gonna just all butterflies and rainbows because uh, we know it's it's far from that but um but when you eliminate fear you can have a clear path on direction so even for those not in are still trying to find their faith and and and, and that journey you still have a purpose and a primary and, and your primary purpose might be something and even when it comes to parenting you know i think we've all been called to raise morally good kids but but that's not enough there's always there's there's something unique that has been ingrained in you, who you are, and and, and in all the life experiences, and hopefully, uh, and, and maybe we'll talk we'll talk about that in the, in the next piece of kind of my story that has brought me to, to where I am today. But man, having a purpose, you wake up in the morning with excitement. Hopefully, you yeah. sense my you sense my excitement, and I, and I <laughs> yes, I garner a lot of excitement from you, man. So you that's a that's an encouragement to you uh, of just of, of who you are. But you wake up with a, with a plan every day. And, and, you know, there's no, there's no fear in that plan. And, yeah. uh, and, and kind of my, my life verse, I kind of joked about it on a post last night, but uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, um, for, for God did not give me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. Yeah. And uh, with love, we, we can talk about love, power, self-control. Those are three things we all, we all want to encompass. So that's kind of my nutshell of how I look at purpose and, and, uh, yeah. and direction in life. I think that's fantastic. And I love how you talk about, you know, when you find your purpose, it eliminates fear. And and basically you replace that fear with confidence, power and love. Because when you really start focusing and honing in on your your God-given purpose, your God-given gifts, skills and talents, then that confidence comes along with it so that you really can do the things that you were supposed to do, like writing a book. Right. I mean, that's that's such an incredible thing. But I think a lot of us just kind of float around, just kind of doing things and never truly explore and pursue our yeah. purpose so that we can, you know, realize our, our potential. And I think that's I love that, that that inspires you. Now, the next thing, and you kind of alluded to it a few moments ago, was second chances and comeback stories. This inspires you. I know you've got a great story. So what does this mean to you and how does second chances and comeback stories, uh, how does that inspire you? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's great. I, I have a guy in Atlanta who reached out to me that the coworker and he's like, um, how do you take your mess and make it a message? And, and that's, and that's, that's really, that's really the coolest thing. And, and look, we all have stories and, and my story on, uh, and, and I recently wrote about this for my church is. Uh, on paper, I, I I've got the job, I've got the title, I've got the following, I've got on paper I look great in public. I've got the wife, I got the kids, I, and and I allude to it. I've got the, I've got a a, a a brown fence, but it's basically a white picket fence. I mean, it's I, you know, <laughs> it, on paper and in public, I've got this beautiful, beautiful life, but in private, I have a secret. And nobody knows about it. And I have a stronghold and a 20 year addiction that has kept me in bondage. And, and really, again, I wake up every day, I answer the call, I get, I work hard. Nobody knows what's going on, but I know what's holding me back. And for me, that was that stronghold, stronghold was, was alcohol. And, uh, and, and really the story behind that is I had an employee of mine who uh, last year looked me in the eyes, employee, remember I'm the boss, I'm the big cheese, I'm you name it. And he said, Kevin, what's the one thing holding you back from living your God-given purpose? And I'm going, 
Antoine, you're not supposed to ask me those hard questions. I'm the boss, man. And I said, buddy, it's alcohol. And uh, he and he then asked me another very, very hard question that you can read about in the book. And so the next day I, I turn on my podcast and lo and behold, it's the exact same question he asked me is on the podcast. And and simultaneously, Antoine's texting me and saying alcoholism in you is, is going to stop or it's going to transfer to your kid. And so, again, a divine appointment and what I needed to give me that that nudge, this this that I say took two and a half years only took me three months to write. When I finally put my focus, I think October, I was about 20% done. And then I turned in a full manuscript two, uh, two months, two and a half months later. So it's it really was just me getting out of my own way. Yeah. And, uh, and look, I had the first step and they they say it, and this is not cliche, but is, is admitting and pride mm-hmm. comes in. And, uh, and and for me, I had to, I joined a recovery program through my church. Now I'm leading the program. So it's kind of that, which that's not to toot my own horn that actually takes the accountability from here to here yeah. because i'm now t- talking and teaching and, and helping you know 13 other men walk through um through through life and so man look that is that's my comeback story and and, and the people who know me in the industry um I, i've i've you know been genuine for years had a lot of fun and and, and even at taa last couple weeks ago people were like i love this tell me this i love 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 i know kevin from I know the party, Kevin. I know the golf, Kevin. I know the crate, but this is this is different. I like this, and these are some of my complete, you know, maniac party friends. Love them to death. Great, beautiful people. Yeah. And uh, and so and then that's just that's just my piece of the story. Again, my mess that nobody knew about because mm. I could manage it, but now my mess has become a message. And there's there's so many people that are reaching out to me, Kevin. What day are you on? I go. I don't even know. My mom keeps up with it. It's two hundred and fifty <laughs> something. I mean, I don't even. I don't even keep up with what day it is anymore because now I'm full throttle in my purpose and yeah. and here we go. We're we're the train is 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 it's not stopping. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. And, and you know what's really cool is you know God puts people around us that's going to kind of spark us and Absolutely. and even if it's your employee that just challenges you with question get you thinking and then you start because you're focused on that you're going to start seeing it everywhere and your that Absolutely. podcast the very next day you know was on that that conversation yep. and now you're going to start continuously surrounding yourself with more people that are going to encourage you um and now you're encouraging other people as well in, in your mission with this and i think that's so inspiring so so amazing and yep. and i know kevin you've got another thing um building meaningful meaningful relationships yeah. inspires you so share share with us what that means to you and how it inspires you yeah i mean even if you look at even my morning this morning i had a 7 a.m breakfast with someone who's asking me to mentor him and or maybe his wife is but either way it's a it's, it's a doesn't it's matter a, it's a, my eight o'clock call was with a guy i just asked to mentor me so somebody who's 10 year this guy 10 years younger than me now somebody who's 20 years older than me and he's a maniac from South Africa, and I can't wait to, to to get to know him more. That was my morning, and just these two people from. I've got a lot of acquaintances. I mean, you got the thousands of followers here, and this and that, and that's beautiful. And, and some of these yeah. LinkedIn connections, like you're a LinkedIn connection, Gary. And I called you and said, "Man, I'm going on a journey here, and I need some help." And you you said, "Okay, how about Tuesday at noon? Let's let's yeah. have have a talk." And just between me and you, and of course the basis of faith, and this morning the basis of faith, those that those conversations and those uh, relationships are already you know so, so much more solidified than the traditional. I have a lot of acquaintances, tons of yeah. too many of them. But how many people do I have in my core group? And then how many are yep. in my outside influence of sphere of in, influence? Which that would be guys like you and. And, and other people that I've connected through from, you know, Baylor University, where I went to school and other other different regions, but meaningful conversations, they don't happen unless you're intentional. And, yeah. I, and, and I know you talk about it in this. And, hold up. I didn't do I didn't work out today. Hey! This, this beast of a book here, <laughs> um, that intentional living. I mean, that's in fatherhood. That's in the marketplace. That's everywhere. And, and one of my biggest pet peeves is when somebody says, hey, let's go get coffee. And then it never happens. Mm. Hey, let's go get lunch. And then it never happens. So I've now come up with that. If I say that to somebody or, hey, I'm going to pray for you. I am physically writing a note to myself somewhere. And we are going to go get coffee. We are going to go to lunch. We are going to do that. And that's how you build um, meaningful relationships. And and not, and and again, not for my good or my gain, but it is maybe for the good of my soul, but not for my, 
my gain. I called you yeah. again. I called you three, uh, six weeks ago and said, or four weeks ago and said, man, my vendor just dropped me on my shirt deal. And I, it looks like I'm going to build a GoDaddy website. What do I do? How do I do it? And you're like, okay, here's what I did. Here's what I liked. Here's what I didn't like. Here's what, and, and again, uh, and then the next day I called a gentleman named Dr. Randy Ross, who's written three books and who's, who speaks in the same space as you do. I said, you know, talk to me. And these are just Again, these are guys that are going, man, I wish I could, if I'd have known, you know, I didn't have anybody walking with me when I started 10 years yeah. ago, uh, in your case, or 15 years ago. And and that's what's so cool is those meaningful relationships. Then you give back to others. I'm talking to a 29 year old guy today, young kid. And I'm saying, man, here's, I don't know it all, but I I know I've had a one year old and here's what I did. Here's what, and here how, here's how we lined yeah. up. And, and that's that's the beauty of meaningful meaningful relationships. And we're called we're not called to isolate. Too many men isolate. Go. Too many yep. men isolate. Yeah. So I, and, and I think there's so much power in having connections with other people. But I think that, and I agree with you. There's a big difference between a Kate and, uh, acquaintances and your inner core circle, your alignments, if you will. I mean, these are the people that you can call at a moment's notice and say, "Hey, I got a question for you." Right. Um, and, and then you get some some valuable feedback because, you know, you've established those relationships and it really does create a better quality of life, not only for you, but for the people that you're connecting with. And I can see that that is truly inspiring. Absolutely. And Kevin, I have to say, I'm, I'm glad that I'm, I'm one of your connections uh, because you truly are inspiring in, in your book. I can't wait to get my copy of it. Yeah. Um, but I will add again, I'm going to put a link in the show notes so everyone can get it, um, link it grab a copy of it or two any if you know a dad just grab a copy for him and, and send it to him early christmas gift just make it happen there you go Father's um, Day. yeah you go father's day's come around the corner too Absolutely. so well hey kevin thank you so much for joining us today and before we wrap up i want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us so what you yeah. got for us yeah beautiful I, and this closing thought just came to me just just minutes ago and uh, really my mission is around fatherlessness and now people go, oh, fatherlessness, you're talking incarcerated par uh, incarcerated dads, you're talking divorced parents. And it's like, actually, no, there's a segment of fatherlessness where the father is in the home, but he's not present. And 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 that's the segment of, that's where dad voted comes into. And, and there's a lot of nuggets in in this book. And and I think honestly for, for this book, 5% of it is about parenting skills and 95% of it is, is how to be a better human. And, and that's really the building the foundational points, but fatherlessness, we know the ugly stats of what that does uh, to the youth and to generations. Mm -hmm. um, but again, mine is, how do you show up at home? How do you show up uh, is, is, I don't even know where it is right now, thankfully. Does this thing, what's the barrier in front of, in, in front of uh, when you walk in the door, do you, your kids are so excited to see you. What mm -hmm. are you doing when they walk in the door to, to get flush out all the ugly from the day and give them uh, in, that intentional living. So uh, we got to reverse fatherlessness. And, and look, mine is, I'm talking to the suburban dad in corporate America, making a decent living, who's focused on power, money, and status. And, mm. and that's that's not what, uh, it, it's it's not what we're here for. Yeah. And, uh, and so that's kind of, my, I could go on and on and on and on. And man, I've got, you got me, you got, you got me amped up. You got me fired up. Um, but that's, that's, that's my mission is, uh, is to, to lead dads where I can reverse fatherlessness and, uh, and love like crazy. We got some beautiful parent, uh, beautiful moms that need, need love. we got some kids that need direction, authority. They need to know intentional living and they just need to be played with. They need fun. And that's, yeah. that's, and how the father shows up is uh is is key and, and and i and i know there's a banded i know already know there's a band of dads linking up on linkedin and and i'm just so excited to see um see where dad voted goes and see you know how we can just continue to 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 move in the right direction for yeah. uh, for, the, for the greater good of of our families that's awesome i think it reminds me of a quote is like anybody can be a father but it takes a special person to be a dad yeah and you know just be present yep. kevin Amazing. Congratulations on your book, sir. Again, we're going to put the link in the show notes so everyone yep. can get a copy of it. Hey, Kevin, awesome. wishing you all the best, praying for you um, with your Thank book you. release, Dad Voted. I hope it touches and encourages so many fathers out there, so many dads out there that uh, it really does make a, a significant impact and fatherlessness uh, for the better. So. Awesome. Thank you again. Thank you all for joining us today on another episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. Guys, make sure you check out Kevin Goodnight on LinkedIn. 
check out his book, Dad Voted. We'll put the link in the show notes and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you guys.